order to be accepted into the WGU computer science program, you need a pre-calculus or higher math class completed within the last five years. Now, a lot of people opt to take the pre-calculus class in order to transfer that into WGU as their prerequisite. But I, I want to tell you, do not transfer in pre-calculus to get into the WGU computer science program. The reason why you don't want to do that is the computer science program requires that you complete a calculus class. If you transfer in pre-calculus, once you are in computer science at WGU, you are then going to have to also do calculus as well. Now, the thing about calculus at WGU, according to many people, it is called the most difficult class and the most time consuming class out of all the classes in the computer science program. So you don't want to transfer in pre-calculus and then have to do calculus. You want to do calculus somewhere else, transfer that in, and then you are not required to take calculus again once you get into WGU. So you'll be done already. I recommend taking calculus at one of the four S's. So for those of you who don't know, the four S's are Sailor, Sophia, Straighter Line, and Study.com. Um, if you take it at one of the four S's, you have to get a 70% or higher in the class. At WGU, I believe, I'm not actually sure what score you need. According to WGU's website, you need a B average or better, or 3.0 GPA, which is a B. So that would be 80% or higher. That's a B minus. But some people say they were able to pass calculus getting a 70%. So I'm not entirely sure what, what grade you need. But I still recommend that you do it before you get into WGU. That way you don't have to do it there. The The reason is that it's the most time consuming. It is going to take you the, the longest amount to, to complete. I've heard people say that it's taken them months to complete. Um, let's just say it takes you two months. So that's a third of your term. The The term is usually cost about four grand. Um, so a third of that would probably be about $1,300 just to do calculus. If, that, if it takes you two months, it's not worth it. And it might be the reason you end up having to add an extra term to your degree as well. So that's an extra four grand. So I highly recommend just transferring it in from one of the four S's. So, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about which of the four S's I recommend transferring in calculus from. So first of all, you wanna make a decision. Do you wanna be an expert at calculus or do you just wanna pass the class? For me personally, I feel like calculus is one of those subjects that you are most likely never going to use again in your everyday life. I'm trying to be a software engineer. I can't picture myself using calculus on a regular basis. Maybe if I end up making a application for some kind of math program or something, maybe I need to know calculus. But I feel like calculus is really reserved for maybe a structural engineer or a, an architect. Then you probably need to use calculus in your everyday life. Otherwise, I would say probably not. So for me, it's not really that important for me to know calculus front and back. When I started my mission to get into computer science, I actually did study calculus a lot. I actually spent four months learning calculus. So I hadn't taken a math class in 20 years since I was back in high school. So I decided to learn calculus from beginning to end at Khan Academy. So at Khan Academy, there's this thing called getting ready for calculus, which basically goes through everything you need to know in order to start calculus. It's basically a refresher on things you may have already learned in the past, or maybe you haven't learned ever. So I start working my way through that, and I started getting tripped up on um, sine and cosine and things like that, which were trigonometry based. So I decided to go all the way and do the entirety of the trigonometry course at Khan Academy as well. And then I went back to getting ready for calculus. I got through that. And then I eventually went through calculus, the, the entirety of the calculus course. It took me four months to do. Now, it wasn't four months of all day, every day study. There's only so much math I could take in a day. I would probably do maybe two or three hours until my head started to hurt. And then I would move on to something else. But it took about four months to do. And by the end of it, I could do all the calculus problems on a piece of paper. I could write them out and I was, I was good at calculus. So, but it's very time consuming to learn. 
um, from beginning to end. It's, it's, it's not an easy subject. Anyway, I don't feel like calculus is that important in my daily life that I'm ever going to need to actually know it for real. I've already forgotten a lot of it. I took it just a few few months ago. I've forgotten a lot of it. The reason they want you to have taken a certain math class in the last five years is because I think the expectation is probably that you have forgotten most of it by then. So if you're not using it on a daily basis, I don't think it's that important to learn every detail about it because you're not going to retain it anyway. I personally don't believe it's that important to learn calculus. If you're out there and you want to learn calculus, I recommend starting at Khan Academy like I did. Go through it. You will learn everything you need to know about calculus there. It's it's actually a very good learning tool. I, I use Professor Leonard on YouTube. He's great. Um, there's Organic Chemistry Guy. I think another guy that was on there. Some great tutorials on, on how to do certain math problems on there. There's a bunch. I used all, the, all of them on YouTube. And eventually I got really good at calculus. But in the end, when I finally went to do a math class, I ended up just using my calculator here the entire time. So this is the HP Prime calculator. It's a CAS calculator. I ended up buying this calculator to do calculus with at Straighter Line. The reason I chose Straighter Line to do it is because Sailor Academy and Study.com do not allow a CAS calculator. And Sophia, it wasn't available to take calculus at at the time. So the reason you want to use a CAS calculator if you can is because it is so much easier to do calculus problems. Basically, you punch it in on a CAS calculator, it does all the work for you on, on a large majority of the problems. So it makes it significantly easier. So that's why I decided to take it at straighter line at the time. My, my position has changed now, and I'll get to that momentarily. But let's just talk about the four S's. So we'll start with Sailor. So Sailor is great. So if you feel like you are going to actually learn calculus, let's say you want to go to Khan Academy and you want to learn it from beginning to end, you want to be a master at calculus, maybe you want to do it at Sailor. Now you wouldn't do the course at Sailor because the course, if you want to learn about why I feel that way, check out my video. I have a video about how I completed 70% of my degree before I even started at WGU. Check that, check that out. Um, and I talk about Sailor. That's part one. I talk about Sailor. I don't recommend trying to learn it there. It's very hard to learn there. But what's great about it is it's one test and you're done. And $5. $5 and you take one test and you're done. You have to get 70% on it. So, But it's a hard test. Now, I personally haven't taken the calculus uh, class at, at Sailor. But the tests are hard at Sailor. They are hard tests, so keep that in mind. But if you are, if you end up being coming a master at calculus, or maybe you already are, maybe you took calculus five years ago, five years ago and a month, and it won't, and you can't transfer it in, it won't count, and you remember most of it. Maybe try taking it at Sailor. It's going to cost you five dollars, and then you do one test, and you're done, and you're completely done. But like I said, check out my video about Sailor if you if you're unfamiliar with Sailor. I think it's great for that. Sailor is great if you are a master at a subject already or you're familiar with it and you just want to get a quick class done. It's great for that. So next I'll talk about study.com. So I don't recommend study.com for a couple of reasons. First of all, the class take a while because you have to go through several dozen lessons and after each lesson you have to do a quiz after each one and then eventually at the end you do your final exam. It's pretty time consuming. If you get 100% on all your quizzes, you only have to get 55% on the final exam, which might make it easier than doing it at Sailor, but I still wouldn't recommend doing it there. First of all, you can't use a CAS calculator, and then it takes a while. And also, if your goal is to just take calculus to transfer that in, it's going to cost you, unless you use a promo code, it's going to cost you $200 just for that one class at study.com as of right now. So I wouldn't recommend it. It's the most expensive and it's gonna be time consuming and you can't use the CAS calculator. So I wouldn't recommend it there. 
So next I'll talk about straighter line. That's where I decided to take calculus at the time. Um, so what's great about straighter line is you can use the CAS calculator like I have here. This is the HP Prime, highly recommend it. Um, there's a link in the description if you would like to buy one for yourself. Um, but the reason I took it there is, like I said, it does allow you to use the CAS calculator during the final exam. Also, you can make the final exam be completely null and void. So what I mean by that is if you get 100% on all your quizzes, all your quizzes, all your tests, everything before you take the final exam, you could get zero points on your final exam and still pass. It is almost impossible to get zero points on a test unless you actually try. You're going to get some right on accident. That's just the way it is. Um, but you don't even have to get 100% on everything. You could just get just get high scores on everything. And then by the time you get to your final exam, you'll just need maybe 25%. I think that's where I was at at the time. I just needed to get 25%. So I probably could have guessed on every single answer and still passed. So it's actually the only one that has a live human be being proctor during the test, but it's really not a big deal. They'll just come on, they'll talk to you for a second, they'll actually take over your computer for a second, you can see everything they're doing, they'll just close certain applications, they'll ask you first, and then they'll make sure that certain things aren't open, and then you take your test, you can't talk during the test, and when you're done, you just tell them you're done, and that's it. Really, really simple, and like I said, you can get 0% on it if you get 100% on everything else, so, that's why I took it at Straighter Line at the time. Another great thing about Straighter Line is you could actually get paid to take calculus. Mm. Well, if you want to find out about that, check out part two of my video series about how I transferred in 70% of my degree. You actually have to be lucky in order for that to happen, but it's possible. So check out part two if you're interested in that. So next I'll talk about Sophia. So if I were doing calculus now, I would opt to take it at Sophia for a few reasons. If your goal is to just transfer in calculus, maybe Sophia might not be the right option for you. But Sophia is great for if you want to transfer in calculus along with a bunch of other classes for a number of reasons. First of all, it's the only one that doesn't have a proctor. Um, Sailor and Study.com do have proctors, but they're, they're not live proctors. They just record you and then they review the video later. But I wouldn't even factor that in. It's just, it doesn't matter. Um, and you will have to have a live human being proctor if you take it at WGU. So it's not that bad to have a proctor. But Sophia is the only one where you don't have to deal with a proctor. Also, the entirety of the entire course is in completely open book. They actually encourage you to use the book at all times. When you're taking tests at Sophia, it'll actually be split screen. Half the screen is going to be your quiz or your test, and then the other half is gonna be the entirety of your course. So you could pull up any section, look up all your formulas, look up anything you want while you're taking the test. If you get confused on something, you can look through the entire course and then find what you need to find. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Also, you can use a CAS calculator. You can even use online calculators, which probably better than any CAS calculator you could find. So I think Sophia is great for that. So if I had to rate the four S's in terms of taking calculus based on difficulty and costs and all that, study.com would be the lowest on the list. That would be last place. Um, for the reasons I named, the cost, the time it takes to pass the, the class, and difficulty I don't know if it's that hard. I actually haven't taken it, so I can't speak on difficulty completely, but I know it's going to be time consuming. All the places might be time consuming, really, but I feel like in terms of doing the actual coursework, I think it's going to, study.com will be the most time consuming and it's going to cost the most if your goal is to just take calculus. So next, in third place, I would put Sailor Academy. So for some of you out there, Sailor Academy might be perfect. It's the cheapest at face value, and it's going to be the quickest if you just go for the test. You learn it somewhere else, you're an expert at it, and you just want to do the test, it's going to be the quickest. Um, but you can't use a CAS calculator, so that's a, that is a downside. And the test is difficult, like I said, 
And for me, it's not that important to actually know calculus in and out. So I would probably recommend staying away from Sailor unless you want, unless you are an expert at calculus and you want to do it for cheap and quick, maybe Sailor's for you. But for me, third place. Next, I would put Straighter Line. Now there might be reasons you might want to do it at Straighter Line. Check out my videos on how I completed 70% of my degree uh, before I started. Um, if there are some certain scenarios where you might want to do calculus in, at Straighter Line instead of Sophia. But for me, if your goal is to just do calculus, Straighter Line is the second of the four S's I would recommend based on the fact that you can use a CAS calculator, based on the fact that you can null and void the final exam by getting 100% on everything else. Um, it makes it a great option. It's, it's, it's a good place to take it. But if I were doing calculus now, my top pick would be Sophia. The price is good, and the course I think is gonna be the easiest based on the fact that it's open book, based on the fact that you can use any type of calculator that you want, I would recommend doing it at Sophia. So, what would be my strategy to learn calculus? Would I go through four months of learning calculus now after having done it previously? I would not. I would not do that. What I would do is I would go through Khan Academy again. I would take my calculator along with me right here or whatever calculator you have, if you have a different kind of CAS calculator, or if you want to use an online calculator, that's great. Take your calculator, just go through Khan Academy, and just learn how to do every single type of problem on the calculator. Just go through it with, that is your purpose, just learning how to do every single type of problem, memorizing how to do it, and then just doing it at Sophia. That's what I would recommend doing. But everybody's different. If your purpose is to learn calculus from beginning to end and spend the least amount of money maybe do it at sailor if you already own a cast calculator and you are going to transfer in other classes as well maybe consider doing it at straighter line but if your goal is to just transfer in calculus and you want to have the easiest time doing it you don't really care about knowing it mastering it you know for the rest of your life i would recommend just doing it at sophia Learn it at Khan Academy first, or if you find some other place that's better, learn it, and then just do it at Sophia. So anyway, hopefully I help somebody out there make a decision on what they want to do. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll be happy to answer anything I can. Please give me a like. Please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, or you can uh, ask me on any of my social media things, accounts, um, in the description. But anyway... Thank you for watching and take care.